The 2017 hurricane season was unprecedented. The World Meteorological Organization initiated a review of the existing early warning systems to better understand the region's urgent needs. High-powered, high-impact hurricanes, including Harvey, Irma, and Maria, left a path of destruction in more than a dozen territories in the Caribbean. It is well established that effective early warning systems save lives, and the key word here being effective. Climate change is modifying the intensity and frequency of extreme events, and we need to adapt the way we establish our early warning systems to this new context. In this effort, what we did was design the initiative around three work streams. The hydrometeorological institutions, the disaster risk management institutions, as well as the ministries responsible for gender at a regional, national and community level. Hurricane Maria was the first Category 5 hurricane to strike Dominica, leading to major destruction there. Well, we, we were in favor of the hurricane, but we really didn't think that it would be so s serious. When that Maria started, light went off, DBS went off, there was no communication. The information going out was delayed because the system developed very rapidly within a short space of time. Irma maintained Category 5 intensity for 60 hours, longer than any North Atlantic hurricane in the satellite era. Seldom do you see the evacuation of an entire island. And in the case of uh, Irma, that, um, the level of destruction that she had wrought on Barbuda initially, um, and uh, with the approach of Jose, that prompted the rapid evacuation of an entire island. It really wasn't easy having to um, deal with a storm or hurricane one week and a few days after uh, you have to deal with another one and then another one. It really was a test of, of the resources of, 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 the, of the country. The year 2017 will definitely go down as history in the Turks and Caicos Islands. It was the first time that we were experiencing two major storms within just weeks apart. Hurricane Irma and Maria left basically no island untouched. Gender in the Caribbean was also assessed within the context of the overall early warning systems review. Gender is very important, but don't look at it by itself. There are some issues related to income inequality, the issue of time use, also the insufficient use of vulnerability data. An early warning assessment following a disaster, as it was carried out here in the Caribbean, provides a, a reality check. It allows national and local authorities to draw recommendations to understand which elements of the early warning value chain they need to strengthen in the future. The 2017 hurricane season was devastating, but it also provided a learning opportunity. The assessment makes 10 recommendations for strengthening early warning systems in the Caribbean. Three of the main findings include the need for forecasting of secondary hazards like coastal flooding and flash floods, the need for more cooperation between National Meteorological Hydrological Services and disaster risk management institutions, and Caribbean citizens are not aware enough of warnings from the weather forecast and warning offices. With climate change and rapid development along the coastline, we must strengthen the capacity to issue multi-hazard early warnings in the region.